Hello YouTube, I am Tiberio and if you are an inkjet printer owner, this video might save you some money. In the following minutes I'm going to show you how to manually clean your printer head. Why should you do this cleaning process? You don't have to. If everything works great with, you, with your printer, don't, don't do it. If your print quality is great, don't do it. Do not even think about it. Look at this video and uh, you will be prepared in the future when um, something wrong happens. Sometimes when you're not using your, your printer for a long time, the channels on the printer head gets clogged. So for this reason you will not get better or good print results. The prints will look bad. Sometimes the, the colors are not okay because instead of the printer using four colors or three colors, it will use only one color. Depends how many channels are clogged. And as a result, you will get bad prints. Other times, you will get streaking lines on the paper. You can also find sm uh, smudge ink on the, the paper. In order to prevent that, your first solution will be to do the uh, cleaning cycle on your menu of the printer. And if the problem persists, you are in the right place. In order to perform this operation, we will need some piezo flush cleaning solution for inkjet printers paper towels and uh, some gloves. For this video I'm gonna use my Epson EcoTank ET3750 but this process will work for sure on almost any inkjet printers. I've done the same thing with my Canon Pro 10 and my uh, Canon uh, Pro 100 one uh, two years ago and it worked, uh, it worked great. I would show you a before and after print but my printer has no problem, so uh, it prints great. I'm only doing it for you just to see how I'm doing it and you can perform this process on your uh, printer and you can save it. Let me move the printer from here and uh, let's get started. Okay, so I moved the printer as you can see. I clean it a little bit uh, with a microfiber cloth and uh, just to not let the dust inside the printer and uh, right now let's look inside as you can see this one is the printer head over here if I'm trying to move it is uh, is blocked I cannot move it and uh, I'm not gonna try it more because I'm gonna break something over there what I'm gonna do is to close it shut down the printer so I'm turning the printer off and turning it on okay and right now I'm gonna take the cable off no power right now the printer head should be unblocked I should be able to move the printer head yeah as you can see I can move the printer head uh, back and forth and now the printer head can move uh, freely as you can see it's very easy uh, what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna prepare the paper for uh, cleaning the the printer head the printer head actually is beneath so you cannot see it uh, but believe me it's over there I'm using bounty paper towels because I found them very flexible and it uh, doesn't leave any residues behind it I'm gonna press it very well as you can see is a uh, kind of pressed it's fluffy but uh, no big deal this is the the solution the cleaning solution I'm gonna use let me see if you can see it is this one and when I bought it it was made for it's focusing here yeah. Epson printers, but as I told you it can work for Canon, HP, any uh, inkjet uh, printers. We want to make it uh, not very wet because look, let's press a little bit. Let's put a little bit more. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here just because we need the same thickness. 
and you will understand why we need the same uh, thickness at, uh, in both parts. Okay, let's move the printer head on the side and right now I'm gonna place the paper on the rail here. I have to make it very flat, so it has to be flat in order to, to have the printer head moving uh, above, above it. Try to be gentle, try to be gentle. This is one thing that you should do. Let's see if it's working. Yep, kinda. You, you, should, you can help it a little bit. See? And I have it on the other side. As you can see, there is some, um, some dirt over there. And what I'm doing right now, slowly moving back and forth. Sometimes when the printer is uh, very clogged, I'm gonna leave this uh, piezo flush uh, solution on uh, over there for uh, 24 hours if you are uh, if you have like bigger problems with uh, your printer you can move also the printer head back and forth I'm always preferring to move the um, the paper towel as you can see there is some dirt over there slowly and as you can see we don't want to to have this uh, kind of stuff we don't want to to rip the, the paper off so for this reason i'm taking it uh, away and uh, if you you got my the point so uh, use different uh, paper towel do another bend another one and try it again and again and again uh, this is only very easy solution and very cheap solution to save your printer. I would say that the printer uh, head is clean right now. And as right now I clean the printer head, I'm gonna look also at uh, on the side where the printer head sits all the time. I'm gonna clean it also over there. I don't want, look, I have more than uh, enough piezo flush to, to clean it over here. See, it's very dirty. So uh, let's put the printer head back to its uh, original position, shut it down, put the, um, the cable and it will uh, turn on uh, automatically. Okay, so the cleaning process is done. Right now I'm gonna do a test. Actually, I'm gonna do two tests. These are my uh, latest designs. For this test, I'm gonna use the Epson premium presentation paper looks very good very detailed I like the saturation of the colors here it is this is the first one Bernie Sanders this is not politics guys it's only art so please do not judge me for for this I don't know if you are Bernie Sanders fans or Trump fans doesn't matter This one looks very good too. Check out the colors, how it looks. I really hope you found this video helpful and if this is the case, please consider subscribing to my channel and uh, leave your questions in the comments below. I'm gonna make sure to respond to every each of you. And also, joining to our Facebook group, Epson Tank Printers. There, users like me, like you, are sharing the knowledge and experience with the Tank printers and we learn how to use them efficiently. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.